More asteroids are inbound. This time it's an asteroid swarm. As they told us, asteroids seldom come in alone. They're either binary or in groups. Well, NASA detected 16 space rocks hurtling towards Earth this week. Brian McLean, Express UK reports, NASA just announced it detected a swarm of 16 asteroids. They're hurtling towards Earth this week. The largest asteroid in the group is bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. And according to NASA, Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CNEOs, NASA uh, says the Earth will see a total of seven asteroids fly past today, October 8. As noted by CNEOs, these asteroids are 219TU, 219TW1, 219RK, 219CT1, 219SB6, 219TM, and 219TS. As we see, they've all been spotted this year. These asteroids will arrive, arrive starting early Tuesday, although most of these asteroids will approach Earth from very safe distances. One of them is expected to fly close to our planet. According to CNEOs, 219T1 will zip past us, us from a distance of 0.0378 astronomical units, or about 351,000 miles away, which is just simply greater than distance between Earth and the Moon. The next group of asteroids will enter Earth locally tomorrow, October 9. These asteroids, namely 219TV1, 219TZ, 219SL7, will be heading past Earth early in the morning, UK time, tomorrow. Diameters of these asteroids will range from 29 to 38 meters, that's about up to 120 feet. The approaching asteroids are relatively small but would be deadly if they did make impact, of course. Asteroid 219 TV1 and 219 TZ will, pass, uh, will fly past our Earth from millions of miles, while 219 SL7 will approach us from a distance of only 337,000 miles away. Only one asteroid will zip past Earth on October 10th, and it's known as 219SX5. That asteroid is the largest one from the whole group, with an estimated diameter of 140 meters, that's about 400 some odd feet across. The Great Pyramid-sized asteroid, this one that is, will approach the Earth October 10, and it should stay at a distance of about 4.2 million miles away, so it's safely away from us. On Saturday, October 12th, Earth will be visited by four more asteroids. Compared to 2019 SX5, asteroid 219 TN1, asteroid 219 SK8, 219 SV9, and 219 SC2 are smaller, with diameters about 25 to 90 meters, that's about 300 feet the most. These four asteroids are expected to visit Earth early Sunday UK time. So it's from now until Sunday that these 16 asteroids will be coming in at us. These four asteroids, the latest ones, are expected to visit Earth Saturday UK time. The last asteroid that will fly by this week is called 219TT1. That's about 40 meters wide, that's uh, 120 feet, will approach Earth on October 13 at a distance of 00744 astronomical units at 692,000 miles away. So it's a safe distance, thank goodness, unless they have the Yarkovsky effect on them, which is where the sun's rays heat up the surface of the, uh, the asteroid, making it tumble on its axis. That's what happened to one of the asteroids about 40 meters across. And uh, it, instead of going past, safely past the moon into space, it came careening into the Caribbean Sea. That's how we all found out from what the astronomers were explaining to us, what the Yarkovsky effect is, the sun's rays heating up the surface of the asteroid, causing it to tumble because of the temperature differential. It's as if something had, for example, in, in, uh, careened into it and cause, causing the temperature difference, causing it to tumble and off, off its trajectory. So, 
we know that we have four asteroids that could strike Earth. The one that's very um, worrying for the astronomers is Bennu, and that will be coming the, the, around 2,182. It's huge. It's 560 meters in diameter. That's about 1,500 feet. And the probability of that striking us is 1 in 1,000. But before that, we have 214 JO25, the year 2027. And about 8 years, 650 meters diameter. That's even bigger. Probability of 1, 000, 1 in 8,030. And the one that's closest in all, probability of 1 in 625, is 214 AG5, year 2040. That's about 400 feet in diameter. And the Apophis, of course, the year 2068. That's in 1,150,000 chance, 370 meters in diameter, the Apophis. Now, NASA has said that SL7 will fly around 1.4 lunar distances from the moon. That's around 538,000 kilometers away, meaning the rock will be classed as a near-Earth object, NEO. The distance will mean NASA study, will, uh, means that NASA has to study the asteroid as it passes. NASA described NEOs as comets and asteroids, near-Earth objects, that have been nudged by gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits, allowing them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. They said, if we wish to know the composition of a primordial mixture from which the planets formed, we must determine the chemical constitutions, the constituents of the leftover debris from the formation process, which are, of course, the comets and the asteroids. And uh, it was recently relieved, revealed that NASA is increasing its preparations to deal with the Apophis, the god of chaos asteroid, Apophis asteroid, which could arrive in the next 10 years. Even SpaceX founder Elon Musk responded by issuing a chilling assessment over the planet's defense capabilities against artificial intelligence going wrong and uh, even, of course, an asteroid impact. Musk said, we currently have no defense against these inbound rocks in case of an impact or a near-Earth passage. An asteroid the size of Apophis has the potential to create devastation on a planetary scale. The last time we saw something like that was 66 million years ago, and that was the asteroid that uh, smashed into the Yucatan Peninsula and... Uh, causing the dinosaur extinction besides other animals, plants, and wildlife. I'll leave links below for you for this on Express UK. And please subscribe and ring the button for updated videos because a lot of people are telling me they're having problems with that. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.